Welcome to whiskey.com, where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. And today we commence our series of Talisker whiskies with the Talisker Storm, which appeared on the market in around 2012. And it's a intense or more intense Talisker than the typical widespread 10-year-old, which I tasted already here. I also tasted the uh, distiller's edition of the Talisker several months ago, and this is one of my very, very favorite. Uh, and so I was, yeah, quite keen on uh, having this Talisker Storm for a tasting. Um, Uh, the Talisker distillery itself, you can see the Isle of Skye here, and this uh, golden dot is the distillery, the location of the distillery. It's quite in the west uh, of Skye, but it's on the uh, uh, lee side uh, of the peninsula, uh, so that they, uh, the distillery hasn't this strong impact of the storms uh, from the Atlantic Ocean, reaching the shore. And here it said, made by the sea. And the back, no whiskey reveals the character of this birthplace better than Talisker. To know Talisker is to feel the power of the sea and sense its rugged location on the banks of Loch Harport on the foreboarding Isle of Skye. Taliska Skom takes this most intense of experiences to a new level. The sweet warmth and briny peppery finish that are a symbol of the Taliska character have been carefully accentuated through a skillful blend of different aged Taliska casks. So all casks from Taliska blend inside the distillery still single malt whiskies of different differing age Talisker casks. So we have different casks, uh, different ages or maturation times of these casks and this is put together uh, to this Talisker storm. A profound maritime character achieves a deeper intensity, like a warm welcome from a wild Hebridean sea. It's a truly Tempestous single malt. Yeah. Um, there's some background information to this Talisker. Um, what to do with old casks? The casks typically are used the first time in the United States for the bourbon industry or the Tennessee whiskey industry. They are used for three, four, five years, and then they come over to Scotland and are reused, and this first reuse is called a first fill. A first fill after the primary usage of the cask. Then second fill, third fill, and then they were dumped in former times, but uh, these casks are heavy, and in the past they had to cope with impacts, with falling down from a lorry, uh, being stored in a ship with a, a rock sea. Um, so they had to be very, very stable. And if you take such an old cask, take off the ends, put new ones in, and uh, take out the used oak from the inside, you carve it out, and then you heat it up again, break the structure of the uh, cellulosis inside uh, the wood structure and then you um, get wood sugars and then you heat it up again strong fire and the wood sugars will caramelize and this brings this brown color inside the whiskey as well as the taste so you can rejuvenate such a cask to a status it had before the bourbon was, was filled in the first time uh, today you are very carefully with those casks, you have them on a pallet, you move with a forklift truck. Um, so there's no falling from everything, so no, they are valuable <laughs> content inside. Uh, then a cask may be used for 
80 years? A lifetime. A cask as old as you are. Or might <laughs> become. <laughs> uh, so, and these rejuvenated casks have the same taste as the fresh cask in the US for the bourbon half. So there's a lot of intensity coming in to the, into the whiskey. Not to, uh, to think about a fresh European oak cask like the Limousin casks from France. They are made of European oak, fresh European oak, very intense, very much tannins and bitterness. And, but this is American oak, rejuvenated, good vanilla, good caramel, a lot of intensity. So and this is mixed with those second and third fill casks, perhaps mature for a longer time, and this will give you a Talisca Storm. Now we have a look inside this bottle. So there's no smaller bottle of this Talisca Storm available, so I have to open a big one, I'm afraid. This Talisker has also 45.6% ABV, as all others have, beside the high strength or cast strength uh, bottles. This is individual to the Talisker distillery. As intense on the nose as the 10 year old is. And a lot of, yeah, fresh American oak. <sighs> There's a lot of smoke in it, perhaps more than, than in the 10 year old. This would think of a, a younger whiskey because uh, the smokiness in the whiskey reduces by time. And uh, if this Talisker, where the malt is arriving at the distillery, always at the same uh, peat level, and if this Talisker is more intense in peat levels, then it must be younger. Very strong, young, fresh, but there's also spiciness from the oak. It's there's more volume in this, there's more aroma than, than in the 10 year old, definitely. Very strong in your mouth, prickling on your tongue, spiciness, but vanilla, caramel, those rejuvenated casks, ah, chili catch, some peppery notes on the, your tongue, it's dominant, some fruitiness, and I'm afraid a little bit of youth, youthness, a slight metallic note covers the roof of your mouth. Cacao, coffee, nuttiness, mm -hmm. mouth-watering. I was introduced, oh, I, I had a meeting with a, the responsible warehouse manager of, Di of the Diageo distilleries in 1997-1998 um, and there they told us about the start of the rejuvenation of casks. So they already have a lot of experience of this rejuvenation of casks and in the meantime I heard this rejuvenation also at other uh, corporations, 
which own several distilleries. So rejuvenation is becoming a bigger and bigger uh, effort in Scotland. And this helps the whiskies to add more, yes, color, more fresh aromas from American oak. But if you still use quite young whiskies, then you will have a very intense whiskey, but not really mature. The oakiness is there, but the complexity of an old whiskey is missing. Yeah, thank you for watching whiskey.com. There's more to come. You see these bottles here on my cask and feel free to share this video with your friends and have a look at our whiskey bottle database. Thank you very much.